Welcome. In this video, I'll show you how to recover permanently deleted files and folders here in Windows 11. Okay. So if you haven't done so, go ahead and go to your cycle bin. You might be able to spot your deleted files in here. But if this one is like fully cleaned or emptied, just close this one and don't worry, you still have an option. Go to your search bar and type in a store. And you're going to click on Microsoft Store. Wait for it to open. Now, once it's opened, go ahead and find Windows File Recovery. Okay. This one. Just click on it and make sure that this logo is selected and have the screenshot. Click on Open or Install if you haven't done so. Just click on Install and once done, open it up and this window will open. Okay. Now, in here, go ahead and type in WinFR space. If you have deleted the file from drive C, so go ahead and type in drive C, colon, okay, space. Now, the recovery files will be saved from where? So let's go ahead and select a drive right here from our computer. So I have this one, which is available, which is drive D, okay? You cannot recover and restore files from the same drive. All right, you keep that in mind. But if you only have one drive in here, like you only have local disk C, you would need either an, an external hard drive or a flash drive or whatever drives that is available. Okay, so I have here drive D. I'm going to use that in here. I'm going to type in D colon space forward slash. We have two options, which is regular and extensive. Okay, for the first can, I would highly suggest using the regular command. Okay. Standard recovery option for non-corrupted NTFS drives. Now, if the first can doesn't work, you can go ahead and use this one later, extensive, which is a thorough recovery option suitable for all file systems. Okay, I'm just going to use a regular, like so. And then once done, just go ahead and hit on enter and it's going to process. Okay, now if you want to be more specific, like you actually know which folder the file was deleted. Okay, this one or this option will shorten the processing time as well. So just go to put in space forward slash N. Okay, then I'm going to hit on space once more. Then let's go ahead and find the directory. Okay, let's say, for example, that you have deleted the file here from your desktop. Okay, or even here in this specific folder. I'm going to double click on it. Okay, for example, I have lost a video or a recording. Okay, so what we'll do is just click on this directory tab. Okay, then go ahead and find users, click on it, then copy until the last text. Click and drag, right click and hit on cut. And once that's done, minimize this one. Go back to the CMD. Now press Ctrl plus V on your keyboard and it will be pasted. Okay, once that's done, type in backslash space forward slash n and then this one right here if you don't actually uh know what type of file was deleted for example you don't know if it's dot jpg or dot png or dot pdf okay you can just actually delete this one and hit on space and it will scan and also recover it later okay but if you know what specific file type it was well, you can go ahead and use forward slash n, all right, space asterisk, like so. And then go ahead and type in dot, it could be JPEG, it could be PNG, it could be docs, PDF. And as I've said earlier, we are under the uh, recordings folder. So I'm going to go ahead and type in MP4 or MOV, okay, or even MKV. These are video file types right here. So once that's done, just hit on enter, wait for it. If your folder uh, got a space or the folder name got a space, you can go ahead and uh, press the up arrow key to bring up the last command. And then just go ahead and use the keyboard right here or the keyboard arrow keys Then put it underscore. Okay. Hit on enter. And as you can see here, it's now initiating and once done it will ask you to continue yes or no just type in y in your keyboard 
to start the process. Okay, as you can see here, it's scanning the disk. Just wait for it. And that's done. As you can see here, it says the file was recovered to drive D as what we have entered right here at the top. So I'm going to go ahead and open up drive D. And here you have it. We have the recovery folder. Double click and just scan it. Okay. Scan every folder that is available or given in here. That's basically it. Well, I hope this video helps and uh, I'll see you in the next one.